we call your attention to this small table which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for five, symbolizing the fact that our armed forces personnel are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families today, so we join together to pay our humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her oppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose in the vase signifies the blood they may have shed in sacrifice to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. This rose also reminds us of our missing comrades' families and friends who keep the faith while awaiting their return. The red ribbon on the vase represents the red ribbons worn on the lapels of thousands who demand with unyielding determination a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us today. A slice of lemon is on the plate reminds us of their bitter fate. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless volunteers of families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors, to in the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. Let us pray to the supreme commander that all of our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for inviting the Greenbrier East High School Junior ROTC from Lewisburg, West Virginia to perform this ceremony for you today. We thank you for the opportunity to be here today to honor you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for inviting us to be here. Uh, we have 246 cadets in our program. There's no way we could get things done without the support of the Vietnam veterans and the other organizations in our community that step up and take care of us. Our kids had a great time. Uh, when we get back to school, they'll have to do a report because I'll have to report back to our principal and superintendent. There's a great educational enrichment for them. Thank you all for making that happen for us. Sorry. I'd like for each of them to step forward so they could tell you what grade they're in, what their plans are, and what something about them other than just their name. Miss <laughs> Mann? I am in 11th grade. I like the color blue. And <laughs> I hope to continue in air rifle and go to college, maybe get a scholarship for it. Hi, um, I'm Maddie Miller. Um, I shoot air rifle uh, plays nationally last year. Um, I want to go to VMI after high school and be something in the Army. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Trey Rogers. I'm a senior in high school. After I finish this year of high school, I plan to uh, go to community college and take uh, core classes, get those out of the way, and then join the Army to uh, pay for the rest of my time. Hi, my name is Aaron Honaker. I'm a senior in high school, and after high school, I'd like to pursue my further math interest and hopefully become a teacher or something else. Hello, I'm Timothy Hoover. I'm a junior. I plan on going to basic this summer through the dual commitment program and then earning my commission for the United States Army Military Police Corps. All right. Hey. I'm Kenneth McGann. I'm in 11th grade and after high school I would like to go to uh, architecture with engineering and then I plan on joining the Army afterwards. Yeah. Hey. Thank you all very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.